Out of getting out from out here. All right, touch clean. <laughs> Chago, what's up? I just came all the way from New York. It's bad. I wanted to get back before it, before it starts snowing. So. Was this the most recent one that SRS has ripped through, or what? Yeah. No kidding. It's only got twenty thousand. Wow. 20 years ago, the owner of SRS National, Jerry Bodwin, drove by in triple nine, his fanciest truck. The thing blew my mind. I was like, what the heck is this? I was just a teenager driving around in a pickup truck, family business, supplying soaps to trucking companies. And our soaps were pretty harsh. They would never be used on a truck like Jerry's. The first thing that occurred to me is like, how the heck, like what, what kind of soaps does this guy use? They didn't understand like the amount of labor it took to polish aluminum in the first place. It wasn't just the soaps, you know, but it did inspire me to a design of product line that was suitable for a fleet like Jerry's. What was really cool is fast forward maybe 15 years from that point, I had set the goal to build the line of soaps that we have now and Jerry reached out to us and he got our system and it was like a life goal achieved. And to this day, Jerry uses our Stars and Stripes system on his whole fleet and it's something I'm really proud about. So this is really cool to get one of his trucks in here. This is one of their newest ones. My buddy Ryan Yagazinski is driving this truck and it's a 2022P Super Fresh. I asked him to let it slide a little bit so that we'd have something to work with, you know, a little bit of grease on there, a little bit of dirt. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our heavy duty wash out. We're gonna get this thing prepped so that we can put our snake oil sealant on there because I'm really excited to see what these guys think of this stuff, see how long it lasts for them. I'll do some 50 50s on the hood. I wanna put snake oil on half of it and not on the other and just see how the water sheets. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm pre soaking the heavier grease with heavy duty at roughly 10 to 1. heavy duty degreaser and APC to clean up this rim. IK Alk 9. This is the best pump sprayer for degreasers and whatnot. So you spray this on the rubber, clean up the tire, get any of the grease out of the rim itself. There's a blue sticker Alcoa, which means it's uncoated. It's just raw polished aluminum. Oh. Look at that shine coming back in there, man. That's nice. stuff right here. I already put it in my foam cannon. I've got my foam cannon mixed about, oh, I don't know, six to one or something. It was ballpark. I don't really uh, measure, but I had about this much water in there and I filled it up with this stuff. On my directions, I say mix it like eight to one to 10 to one. And that would look like the 800 milliliter mark with water plus 100 milliliters of this. This is just a ballpark though to get you started. You just want to stretch it out as far as you can and, and still get a nice slippery coating on the truck. If you mixed it in here stronger, let's say you put it in here at like four to one or something like that, then you could cut this knob back here and you'd reduce your refills a little bit. I'm gonna put it on one side of this and just see what it looks like. We'll put it on, rinse it off, and look at the water sheet one side versus the other. Let's see how this works. nozzle here. I see it pretty clear on the black here. There it 
there goes the coated side and the uncoated side is not going nowhere. Water's stuck there. And this side, it's not. <laughs> so that's what it does. It's been a few minutes. This is still holding on to the water on the uncoated side. So I'm pretty psyched to see uh, the difference here. This is nice. Okay, let's get this thing all the way coated down with snake oil and this thing will be ready to go. <laughs> 